guys, hope you're all doing well. So I'm really, really excited to come to you and show you this new amazing hair that I'm rocking. Um, this is the most natural textured hair I've ever tried. It's pretty close in terms of a match to my own natural hair. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, it's soft, it's full, it's fluffy. Now this hair is from Her Given Hair and I've sent three bundles of their clip-ins and this is what I've come up with. So if you're interested to see how I achieve this gorgeous mane, keep on watching. So guys, this is the packaging for the hair when I received it. Um, they've got their logo on the front, Her Given Hair, and the boxes are really sturdy. And when I opened the boxes, this is what I had inside it. So each bundle of clip-ins was packaged separately and in each bag there's a card with the specs of the hair. They also included this headband which can be used at night to help maintain any hairstyle that you've done. And there's also an instruction manual with the do's and don'ts so you get the most out of your hair. Now when you take the packaging off each bundle of clip-ins, this is what it looks like and you get some additional clips as well. And when you unravel each set of clip-ins, this is what you get, a longer piece which has five clips, two medium-sized pieces which have four clips on each and then three smaller pieces which have three clips on each. And you can also request samples of their other textures, so they sent me the curly, the coily and obviously the kinky as well. And you can see very clearly how each texture or each curl pattern is different. The curly is a lot silkier, the coily is very tight but still has a shine to it, and the kinky obviously you will see how it ends up looking like. So I'm going to co-wash the hair and the conditioner I always use is the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration Conditioner. So basically I'm just going to put a bit of the product on the hair and work it through the hair making sure that um, it's saturated and it gets into all of the hair. And then I'm going to use my wide tooth comb to comb the um, conditioner through the hair, um, starting from the ends and working my way up. And then I also like to run my fingers through the hair just to make sure there are no tangles left. And then I rinse with cold water. Now one thing I can say about this hair is when you first put water on it, before you even start conditioning, as soon as the water touches the hair, it becomes super soft. And after rinsing, this is what the hair looks like. It is extremely soft. And I did this with all the bundles of clip-ins and I found that the 18 inch bundle had a tighter curl pattern than the 20 inch bundles. And this is how much hair came out after detangling all the clip-ins. So I hung the hair to dry outside on some coat hangers um, and you can see it in the natural light and then this is just a closer look at the curl pattern. Okay, so now on to installing the clip-ins. This is what I did for my braid pattern. Nothing fancy, just needed to put that hair away. And I also did a flat twist for my leave out. So I ended up cutting off about three inches off each set of clip-ins because the ends were a bit scraggly and I just wanted a nicer, cleaner, um, thicker, healthier look for the hair. Okay, so to install the clip-ins, it's very easy. Just place it where you want it, and then you put the combs into your braid or your hair, and then you push down a little bit and snap. So at this point I had installed six clip-ins, so that's equivalent to one bundle of clip-ins and it was a combination of the 18 inches and the 20 inches. But like I said, I cut about three inches off the end of each, so it's looking pretty much the same. And then I went back and I installed another clip-in at the back because I wanted it a little bit fuller. So here I'm fluffing the hair a little bit just to see if it's got the thickness and volume that I'm going for. And I'm pretty happy with it, so I'm going to go ahead and take down my leave out. Now some parts of my hair ended up being longer than the clip-in, so what I did was I would tuck it in behind the clip-ins and kind of fluff the hair or the extensions over the top of my hair. So then I decided I wanted a little bit more hair in my bang area, so I put another clip in um, there just to make it a little bit more fuller. Up. 
And there you have it guys, that is the final result. I absolutely love the hair, look at all that movement. It's so fluffy, it's so textured, it's so full. It's got the beautiful kinks and coils, everything that we love about our natural hair. This hair basically replicates it, so I'm so happy with it. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe for more videos. I will leave all the information for her given hair down in the description box um, so you know exactly what I got and you can go check it out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!